This is Proud to Be from Otfi.com slash proud. Don't stop. Can't stop. How many funk songs have you listened to that implore you to do one thing? Proud to be an American and at least I know I do shit. And I forgot my mom's birthday for four years consecutively. It's a shame that I remember when my ball came out. Because it wasn't that good. But it had her titties and it was a weird sex scene. That's why you got such work. Shit, wait, why the fuck do you stop the music? <laughs> yeah! Look at that, man. You blink, your life passes by, suddenly when is it? Oh, wait, it's Tuesday night, and it's time to set the internet on fire with Night Attack, bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since my... Daughters were born. Hey, I'm Brian Brushwood in Austin, <laughs> Texas, joined by Justin Robert Young in Oakland, California. Uh, Justin, it feels like we just spent every day for the past week podcasting together. Just nonstop. Uh, Brian, it wasn't a fantasy. It was indeed a beautiful dream uh, uh, because we we did. We lived it. We, we, we were uh, we lived We, were we lived together. Jamming and cramming. I was saying today on the jury show that it, it is it is a, uh, a a testament, I think, to the the health of our friendship mm. that I I spent every day with you for the last week, and I was very excited to do the show today. That that we were not totally sick of each other after seven days together. Well, I I noticed that as well, and I think that's that's something about like I don't know if you've been on the road enough, and it doesn't matter who the person is, like. Uh, you got to mitigate your ex- exposure. It's like, you yeah. know, love is radioactive. And if you hug it too close, you'll die of it. <laughs> or you'll get superpowers. <laughs> well, like well, what are one the other two? Hey, uh, I had a thought. And that oh, thought wow. was, okay. yeah, uh, well, the thought is I read the news. <laughs> and I want to oh, know. Boy. <laughs> I want to know what is with the nerd fight between Elon Musk and Zuckerberg? Well, you know. It was always going to come to this, right? Yeah. Like, there was only so long that all these billionaires who are, like, carving them, uh, you know, out these legacies, these titanic legacies that have their eyes on, like, living forever and and moving to different planets, that eventually they're going to start pissing each other off, right? Well, okay, here's the thought that popped into my mind is... Uh, this whole like running, not running for president thing that Mark Zuckerberg's yeah. doing, like, isn't that a good way to, you know, like, hey, you need to distance yourself from your egghead friends in Silicon Valley. He's like, all right, find me something to poke at that I can defend. And he's like, exactly. well, Elon Musk has this slightly fringy belief that that robots might kill us all. And it's like, all right, I'm gonna poke him in the eye a couple times. Look at me, I'm I'm just like the rest of you normal humans. Oh, so you think it's him trying to butch up? Yeah, yeah, man. It's like and he's so taking he's the like, hard he's, ro- he's rolling up, he's rolling up his cigarettes in his in his sleeve, and he's dressing like Bruce Springsteen, and he's just like, like, hey, man, I'm sick of you and your AI. But he, but he does it. He says it like over his shoulder while flexing. He has his back to uh, <laughs> to Musk, but can't be bothered to turn all the way around. Like, I don't know, man. Seems if like you're afraid of robots, maybe you just run home to your cave, boring boy. <laughs> Do you think he's he's in, is he in the gym with Bezos? Like Bezos is, is is spotting him. He's trying to get him in shape. Well, I, I'd like to think that Bezos and uh, and Musk were f- on the outs because they were busy with their penis measuring contest with their rockets, yeah. right? But then finally, this this slight upsets Musk enough. Like he's like, it's not a crazy fantasy. It could happen. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I just. I, like, I think. I think AI is. Like, you, 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 maybe you're just not so smart. Like, like, if, you, if you'd seen Terminator Three: Rise of the Machines like I had, then you would know. The uh, <laughs> the uh, and maybe he calls Jeff Bezos and he's like, "Hey, man. Uh, yeah." And he's like, "Is this about space again and rockets?" And he's like, "No, no. I'm just. You know, I was, you want to get together and not talk about space at all?" I'm like, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> what is that Bezos that's voice? That's my that's my Bezos voice. Is that it's, it? Yeah, and he's like, a, wait, hold on, dude. Like, how would you imagine him just describing the Amazon Echo, like, just <laughs> as a as a device? He's like, it's incredibly useful, and it gets me to space. <laughs> Look at my rockets! I'll punch it. 
<laughs> I'll punch. Ah, I'm strong enough now. I punch the rockets. I punch them into space. That's how we'll get them up there. Pow! Look at me. I'm Bezos. My, my new muscle-powered rockets are the cat's pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just injects. Oh, I give it the old. I give it the old pow zing. Oh, I, uh, into Mars you go. I'm I'm Popeye the Bezos man. <laughs> and then he just he unscrews the top of his head and just pours from a bottle labeled Human Growth Hormone. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes smugness away. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, what else happened in the news? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I, I, I heard, uh, so I've been taking a lot of these, um, a lot of these, uh, uh, Lyfts and Ubers while I was in Austin, right? Because oh, yeah. I decided to not go with a car. I decided to, to ride share everywhere. Did, did you take mostly Uber or Lyft? Mostly Lyft, uh, because only Lyft had the line option in Austin. Uber did not yet have the Uber pool. Uh, the, okay, I wonder if this is related, because Lyft, of course, knows where all the pickups are coming from, right? So it yeah. knows that you got a lot of Lyfts from roughly my house. Yes. Because today, out of nowhere, I just was given... 10 Five, discount of, coupons. I got those too. Oh, you got 10? Uh, oh, so did I. Yeah. So did I, actually. So uh, maybe that's more of a widespread yeah, okay. campaign. So maybe that's a widespread like, campaign like, of like, ah, we're the better ones. But you know what? We had, we had that thing. <laughs> we don't punch you to your destinations yet. <laughs> <laughs> Soon we'll get bought by Bezos, though. <laughs> ah, I bought Whole Foods so I could punch your squash to you. Pow! <laughs> Bezos power! Now drive me away. We have to pick up Julia on 4th Street. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> this glass jaw of yours is fair trade. Crash, crash. <laughs> and here's this glass jar you can get on Prime Day, pal. <laughs> Who needs drones when you got these guns? <laughs> <laughs> How quickly it just went to Bezos. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so, yes, you Ubered and lifted a lot. I heard this story today. I read it on jury, but I want to bring it to you because I want to get your uh, your sense on it. Uh, there was a uh, a man who had a very unpleasant Uber ride. Uh, uh, he uh, uh, wound up getting the driver suspended. But uh, here's the issue. He gets in, and uh, when he gets into the car, he sees that there's a lady in the front of the car, along with the male driver. Okay. Uh, and he checks his phone, thinking, oh, maybe, maybe, common mistake, I hit Lyft line or Uber pool. Right. I meant to get a thing. There's somebody else in here. Not a big deal. Except he didn't hit Uber pool. He just hit the regular old Uber. So he's like, well, you know, this happens every once in a while. You have a family member or something like that that's just riding along just to, to not be bored, yada, yada, yada. Sure. Well, that goes out the window when all of a sudden the lady in the front seat begins kissling, kissing, shuffling with the man's belt and giving him. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I so here's my question to you. What is your reaction if this is happening in front of you? Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Um, okay, well. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Bing 13 says, oh, sweet, a ride and a show. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, immediately I take in every detail for night attack purposes. And then so immediately, immediately start wondering Wait a minute. Uh, what is the appropriate amount of time for comedic effect to experience this before it, it you're there just a little bit longer than you should? And at what point, just like I don't, I, I like you think you see the off ramp for unironic enjoyment of watching two people have sex <laughs> in front of you, and I want to, I want to exit before that is exactly right. I am so glad that you answered that because that was the exact same point that I came to, which was asking the audience. 
when am I in dereliction of my actual paying job to witness this so I can tell you guys? Like, at <laughs> what point is that line where I've gotten enough information that now it's a funny mo moment on the podcast or a track on the album? Uh, and when is it just me watching somebody <laughs> suck a right, dick? Well, and also, like, like um, at what point are you trying to have a conversation and it's interesting that they're ignoring you to have sex? Uh, and then at what point are you, like, actively participating in directions and stuff? And we're like, at what point do you become not the observer but a character in this in this drama? <laughs> at what point do you enter Westworld? Yeah. 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 Also, also, that, that looks fake. That looks fake as fuck. You think, oh, you, oh, wait. Yeah. You think you think this is this is a, a, but, uh, a you know fraud. what let's let's back it up. Uh this uh, this is what you would say. First of all, probably not even an Uber or or I guess the guy you said the guy got fired. So maybe it was an Uber. Uber says he was a real guy. Okay. Great. And that he has now been suspended and that they did immediately issue a $10 uh, a receipt, okay, right? Look at look uh, at because that. the ride was only eight dollars. Okay, her uh, for the audio listeners, her head looks roughly. Her ears are aligned with his nipples, and I'm I'm having a hard time. In the uh, well, I don't know. Maybe maybe he's an advanced species. Uh, <laughs> I know that wouldn't work for me. How about that? <laughs> So wait a minute, hold on. So your issue is like you are definitely Zapruder filming like back into the left. Yeah, no, I think it's fake. I think it's where... fake. Fake as hell. Fake as hell. You think? All right. So to what end? Just to make a viral video? Well, yeah. It's uh. Well, first of all, this is on Snapchat, right? So it looks like he's trying to mess with his friends, and uh, and and they're playing a game. But it would it would require his friend pick uh, assuming that the Uber thing is true and that this is not created by Uber for some different reason to like change their narrative that like, hey, I know that we used to be the place where the drivers weren't happy, but now they're pretty happy. Uber, get your dick sucked. Uh, OK, well, no, I don't think it's a conspiracy viral ad campaign for Uber. Uh, All right. Cross that off the list. Cross that off the list. <laughs> what, else, what else you got? Let's see. Other, like here. The way I think it is, is either he knew him or maybe it was him. Uh, you know, some situation where it's like, oh, let's do a funny fake snap thing. And then uh, here, do this. Now do this. And now I'm gonna do oh, and look like you're going down on him. Ha ha! That's funny. Snap it to my friends. And then, um, and then like that's that. Next thing you know, it goes viral. And it, this guy who did work at Uber, and Uber could very likely say, "Hey man, whether that was real or not, uh, that's not what we want you to do with our logo." And uh, and then, <laughs> and then fire the dude and, and just say, "Just refund everyone. Just just wash wash our hands of this whole thing." So the, the only vector that you do not know is that this became viral because the guy went to Uber's Facebook page to post the videos to complain about the fact that he only got a $10 thing back. Uh, huh. Man, okay. Well, that's rough because so many of those details can, can get washed. Uh, but no, no, no. Up. I think, Ryan, do not, do not let all this misinformation uh, 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 astray you from the fact that your eyes are not lying to you. When you really look at that video, that head is not far enough down. Uh, I, I think that, that are you back in my player? That one. There's a war for your mind, Brian, <laughs> and it is right now being battled in the back of this woman's brain. Yes, uh, that's uh, that's I, I, I don't know. This, this people dicking around in blue out of proportion, so to speak. <laughs> uh, and. Uh, <laughs> That was double good because both blue and out of proportion. Yeah, you're really funny. <laughs> 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 um, there's also the fact rise. that rise. there's also the fact that maybe she just does not have the core strength to fully complete it. And this is just a very embarrassing attempt at roadhead. So this is, this is actually a roadhead fail. Like maybe her seatbelt had snagged uh, and, she, and she was, did I, ever, I told that story about throwing up all over myself. Yeah, that's right. That was in an album. Uh, the time I tried to uh, lean out the window of a car, but uh, but the seatbelt trapped me and I ended up puking oh, up all over yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, no, that's definitely a gross, that's a gross thing to happen. Yeah.
Anyway, I, I say it's fake, and but but it sounds like a small enough deal that do you, do you think it'll come out as fake if it is? Uh, I mean, I, I would think at some point, like the the cool thing if this is a fake video is that they used the largely automated world of Uber to effectively inject, uh, uh, so to speak, uh, <laughs> uh, some legitimacy into it. Because, like, why would Uber be complicit in a video that embarrassed them? But well, really, when you think about it, you I, don't I, again, need I, that I, debate. Uh, you, uh, you're, you're the only one who keeps going back to Uber being a part of it. I, I think Uber has no part of this whatsoever. Oh, no, 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 no. Again, again, what, what I'm saying is that what's interesting about it is that the proof, like, as, as you're pointing out, I'm saying you're right, is that Uber said, well, his, this guy's fired. This guy got a, got a refund. This is how we handle real things like this. We are a third party that is is claiming to not have any relationship with either of these parties, except one's a driver and one's a writer. So as far as Uber's concerned in terms of their PR, that's just that. To, right? Okay, ready? Next level. Next level. What are the yeah. odds that like Lyft has, you know, just throw a little cash out there? Just say like, uh, let's not, you know, let's just do a, let's, you know, somebody makes a funny video. Let's just a little more association with Uber, with those, you know, hey man, that's more than fist bumping. We only fist bump on Lyft, only we don't do that exactly. anymore. We don't lips bump. <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, no, I'm, 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 I'm for that. I think, listen, let's figure this out. Let's get these usual suspects. Who fake blew that dick? Who, who <laughs> gave the order? Who gave the order for the fake blow? So oh, think about this. Okay. Let's say this does surface and you know, it's a joke or a trick or whatever, but the guy does work for Uber. You can pull the logs, so to speak. And, uh, <laughs> and you can find out. Whether or not this guy was uh, was working on that day. And so let's say you see, like, look, he wasn't even logged in. This was not a fair, uh, yeah. uh, an affair, so to speak. Uh, the, the, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but they, like, at that point, like, do we fight it? Do we expose it as a fake? No, because then we just get covered in mud. We're just like, that's not our policy. And then just throw money at, you know, say we refunded it. That's it. Here's Listen, a $10 this coupon. is just something that we just got to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> is this just a big old fat dick of an Uber driver that we've got to suck? <laughs> <laughs> you know that old saying? You know that old, that old <laughs> Irish saying, the big fat dick <laughs> Uber driver? <laughs> there once was an Uber driver with a big fat dick. And his dick was so big, it was plainly sick. There, there, it threw up in this young lass's mouth, and she said, I drive Lyft now. <laughs> Hold on, now I want to make a liver ache. There once was a driver for Uber who tried to get him some boober. Uh, um, uh, he, he picked up the fare. Uh, oh, and pulled back her hair. Uh, and now he's a out-of-work goober. And, 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 uh, yeah. I guess Uber is is a real rush, a real, real, real rough rhyming term, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's uh, rough. And then it ended in her pooper. <laughs> Puber. Uh, well, Brian, uh, uh, what a uh, 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 now he's a viral a YouTuber. That's what it is. <laughs> Nailed it. We're making limericks. <laughs> that sandwich Brad in the chat nailed it. That was good. <laughs> hey. uh, you have had a hell of a uh, a last few days. I don't know. Do you want to get into uh, uh, much about the, uh, the the shoot that you guys had on on Saturday? Because that that seemed Ooh, hot damn insane. God, yeah. I, I I forgot. I guess yeah. It's been really you and I have been really busy. So uh, for everyone who doesn't know, uh, uh, Justin came over and, and lived in a flop house dorm room where he shared uh, the spare bedroom with David Rowan. And mm -hmm. uh, 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 we uh, and, and you. Sh sh uh, well, OK, uh, Modern Rogue episode coming out this week should be really, really good. We learn stunt driving from No Lie, a 12 year old kid. Look at that. Horse, <laughs> that is an amazing picture of you. Uh, you I, look, you look the most manly I have ever seen you in our friendship. I was trying to, I, I felt the same way. Uh, I, 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 
number one, I'm filthy. Like I'm just covered in dust and and because I'm sweating and then the dust is landing on the sweat and it's caked on and it and it filled with the unintended side effect because I was wearing goggles is that all that filthy dirt filled in the gaps in my beard and it is I'm like, oh, that's what I would look like if I were a real man. Do you ever all right, look at that yeah. and understand that you would never admit this publicly, but if you could get away with it. Would you just get one of those spray-ons to 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 make it look like that all the time, assuming nobody could know? Uh, well, and nobody would know. It would be it would it would look good enough that at least on camera, you would look exactly like that. I, mean, I, with I would that same thing. I would never say this on air, but I'm definitely firmly decided to try that and to see how it felt. <laughs> Oh my God! Really? Yeah, we, it looks so we, goddamn good. Should, should we do it? Okay, we gotta find spray on beard because that shit do, does look majestic, right? Oh my God, dude! Right now in Seattle, Bezos is like right this way, Brian. Pow! <laughs> as he sends it streaming <laughs> through the sky. <laughs> um, the uh, 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 we yeah, we gotta find it. We we gotta find some some beard beard fluffage. All right, so next week. The beardening happens right here on Night Attack. We got to get some suggestions in the chat room for beard thickening spray. Okay. I will do it, and Brian will do it, and we will have fake beards <laughs> the entire show in from the first act on. <laughs> Sorry, you got to keep going. So what? All right. So so uh, let's go ahead and get those in 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 either in either chat or, or uh, we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. But this is definitely going to happen. We are going to because right now. Brian and I are at at less than full beard action. Yeah, uh, you are, are. Are you back to growing it out? Are you are you done with the mustache? No, no, no. I got I got. Uh, uh, oh, anybody in the Los Angeles area? If you plan on going down to Politicon, this is a a very popular political uh, convention. Uh, we, but John and I, will be down there this weekend uh, from Friday Friday and Saturday, and a little bit of Sunday uh, to sell contenders and to demo action news. So if you want to play it with us. Then go ahead and uh, uh, check that out, and uh, yeah. So Wait, I got a new do speaker. One the house going to be or not speaker? The house, uh, the new White House correspondent guy. What's his name? Yeah, uh, Anthony Scaramucci. Yeah, he he's going to be there, huh? He, uh, I assumed he was booked before he became the communications secretary, and and now he is going to fulfill that obligation, which is interesting. But uh, uh, yeah. No, it's become this this place uh, that's given a lot of. Uh, it's basically capitalizing on the celebrity of political punditry right now, mm -hmm. and uh, so everybody on MSNBC and everybody on CNN and everybody on Fox News and the Young Turks and everybody in in the middle are all going to show up and they're going to yell at each other. Uh, do you think this Politicon will be unusually large compared to previous years? On on I account would on account it would be. That there's, I would it, suspect it would be less than last year when a presidential election was uh, uh, in in the near balance, right? But aside from and that, already uh, legitimately insane during that time, anyway, right? What was that? And uh, not only you know with a presidential election in the balance, but with it already having plenty of character and characters. Oh God, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I, I, I'll be I'll be curious to see what the what the what the crowd is uh, this year. But either way, you can go ahead and check that out. And uh, and also, of course, eight days away from uh, eight days a week. I love you. And eight days uh, is all you need or to or all you have to to back action news. So, oh, my uh, gosh. We're in. Yeah. Are, are we in the home stretch on that? We are in the home stretch. Action it is, news uh, game. It is. Uh, uh, we're, 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 we're really coming up against it, man. Looking for a thousand backers. If we get to a thousand backers, uh, uh, we hit a bunch of price breaks. All the cards that we were going to do are going to get into the deck, and uh, we're, we're we're looking to develop the the app. So uh, uh, go ahead and and now is the time to spread the word. We have a hundred and fifty to go in eight days, which is a very 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 steep hill for us based on our trajectory. So we really need to rely on on everybody to even if you've already gotten it. Spread the word. If you haven't, uh, uh, go ahead to my YouTube, youtube.com slash Justin Robert Young. If you want to see a play demo and you will hopefully be hearing and have already heard quite a bit of me uh, on on a lot of podcasts, including ones that have yet to come, including Scam School a little bit uh, later this week. Right. And uh, 
the 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 Daily Dot, which also shot a uh, a play demo video for us. So uh, hopefully how, all that continues to roll out. How did you keep up with all of the stuff? Like like was it overly taxing to you, or or you felt like a, a cool cool groove? You got like a full day off in the middle of there, right? I did. Well, I mean, it was a day off with politics, politics, politics at, at the beginning, right? So it wasn't uh, – well, I guess I did on Saturday. I, I got to just kind of go and watch wrestling, which was nice. But uh, other than that, you know, it was funny. I was counting up everything that I did over that time, and it was like 18 live streams, videos, podcasts uh, in a in a 17 – or a six-and-a-half-day period basically. Yeah, man. Uh, that's, but it was uh, a uh, it was a full 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 uh, a full schedule. But you know, again, uh, I'll tell you what I had. It was about as pleasant as it was possibly going to be because uh, I, I got to spend so much time with with rad folks, which is always nice. Yeah, man. Uh, I was, I, hey, speaking of rad folks, you know who are the raddest folks in the planet? Oh, that would be the folks at patreon.com slash night attack that's right man we got 1423 patrons and we would love it if you guys wanted to join the ranks of the proud just a buck an episode a nickel a trickle uh, 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 just give us a dollar um, give us a dollar we'll make you fall her down you're gonna punch yourself down which I'm I'm categorizing as a woman <laughs> for some reason it's very progressive uh, but you're gonna you. be the greatest uh you are the best uh we say if you give us a dollar uh, yeah man and if you are a new supporter or somebody who raises your pledge over the next week you could get to participate and randomly be selected for the ladies and gentlemen it's time for the night attack new patreon name chant corner hour an hour of it. Oh man. Uh this one I'm going to I have I'm going to have to go for it. Going to have to go for it. Um <laughs> I'm going to guess this person is currently in the middle of an argument shouting very very loud. Oh wow. Uh uh uh, uh do you think that they're listening to the show or watching the show while they're in this argument? I think they're trying to hear the show cuz they suspect it's them and they're and yeah. somebody's whispering and so, so this person is shouting at his significant other to shut up. I think they're going to ne- mention my name. And meanwhile they're like, "Why don't you stop watching that show?" <laughs> and, then, and, and 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 this person says, "Uh Jeff Bezos, I told you get out of here." <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. Let's hear it for Mr. Shouty. Mr. Shouty. Uh, is that a new voice? Hey, I, I'm just screwing around. <laughs> Mr. Shouty. I, I, Mr. Shouty. I like the, uh, I like the velvety gravity. Graveliness of it. Is that almost like Hal 9000 ish? Can you get what would Hal 9000 talk to Mr. Shouty? Uh, hold on. <laughs> Mr. Shouty. Mr. Shouty. Oh, that's. Oh, wow. <laughs> now sing Daisy. <laughs> Daisy. Daisy. I forget the words. <laughs> It's been a while since I watched the movie. Oops, I forgot the words. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's that was definitely. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing to our Patreon. What I loved is not only two of the words not right, but you were singing the the tune to "Sailing, Sailing Over the Ocean Blue." <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like you might as well. Daisy hang low, does it wobble to and fro? Does you tie it in a daisy and you do a daisy throw? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Shouty. Mr. Shouty, god damn it, man. Why, why are you going to be out here screwing around, Mr. Shouty? Uh, we love you. <laughs> hey, didn't we talk about doing something to shout out the folks who are 
shown up in the live chats as well. We talked about adding that. I don't know if we figured uh, out a plan for it. We briefly talked about it while I was in the middle of doing something, so we don't have anything for that. Right That's now. okay. Here, it's a new bit. <laughs> we shout at a random person in the chat. Yeah, okay. All right. The next person to subscribe. Oh, we just had someone. We just had oh, really? We had really? the Jawson. The Jawson. The Jawson. <laughs> Meet your Jossin. Uh, all right. Hey, man, I'll tell you what. If it's the second act of the show, it means that we have a game from Bryce. Yeah. So, uh, Bryce, what are we doing? This is actually from uh, uh, everybody in the Discord and everybody on Twitter, Twitter who saw the link today. Uh, we're going to play Real or Fake. Netflix category edition. You guys know oh, Netflix. Oh, they got some weird categories. Netflix has got some really weird categories. For example, uh, here we go. Uh, Netflix has a category called irreverent Spanish language uh, comedies. So if you need your irreverent Spanish language comedy, there uh, you go. Uh, uh, can that's, that's you give the... us some examples? Just just read off uh, the titles. Sure. Under there. Uh, 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 like... Brian's login credentials, which are not saved onto this computer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to, to, to log in? <laughs> Maybe log in. Uh, which, which computer is it? Uh, this one here. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, in, here, throw th uh, <laughs> In any case, uh, so we've got uh, we've gotten all sorts of uh, Netflix co uh, categories. There are websites that just list all of the crazy co categories, and they're very specific because they'll recognize, oh, you like this type of movie you like this type of actor you like this era of movies etc 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 this this was famously how they initially cracked the code on house of cards right is that they had their and their proprietary analytics and they figured out mm -hmm. dark conspiratorial directed by somebody like david fincher and starring a, a trusted like character spacey. actor like kevin spacey and they were like cool this is it we, we want this kind of thing they pitched him that and it wound up becoming a huge success so exactly. these kind of analytics are the lifeblood of, uh, of of Netflix. Exactly. Uh, so we've got here the irreverent Spanish language comedies like No Filter and Carlos Bayarta, El Amor, Este Putos, et cetera. Hey, what's up, uh, <laughs> Brian? What's your favorite episode of Gang Family? Uh, <laughs> I, oh, Gang Family? Um, yeah. I think it's the one where Spanky gets caught uh, in a same sex relationship with Alfalfa. Also, by the way, if we were to make random jokes about uh, uh, <laughs> the things that we were assuming were Spanish, irreverent Spanish language comedies, how racist would be one of us just yelling gang family? <laughs> Pretty racist. <laughs> or how about the one next to it? Me and the alien. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> just called me and the alien. <laughs> because he is different. They dub him alien. Uh, wait, yeah, oh, really? Sure <laughs> but if his musical gifts take them to the top, will they call him a star? Oh boy, man! I kind of oh, what's that other one? It's, it looks like it says nose, but I think it says no say. Uh, yeah, it says uh, uh, I don't know whether to slip my wrists or I don't. I, it's not <laughs> we sure. may never know. Or leave them or long. Leave them long. <laughs> what? What? So it's just a reverent Spanish language. These comedy. are irreverent. Yeah, that's right. the big thing. Yeah. I can't wait for the gang family. <laughs> I can't. I don't know whether to slip my wrists or leave them long. Crossover. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Hey, let's talk about Netflix. Hey, so we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play a game here. We got um, a, a bunch of people in the chat realm to send in real and fake categories. So we're just gonna go down the list. Uh, we both are gonna get to say true or false each round. Yep. Uh, we do have a scoreboard this time. We just let me put this right here. Beep 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 beep. We got Dryan <laughs> I versus. I see you. Justin. The irreverence just got ten feet higher. <laughs> 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 All right, so we'll, we'll start off. Uh, we'll start off here at the top here. Critically acclaimed Canadian movies. Is this a real Netflix category or not? Critically acclaimed Canadian Ooh, movies. We'll this one's with... tough because there's a lot more Canadian television than there are Canadian movies. So you would you would figure with like the CBC and stuff like that that there, there's a lot more of of that. Most of the big Canadian stuff winds up getting made. In America, that's why we keep stealing and raiding all their talent. So, uh, certainly possible. But who who goes first? 
Uh, Brian's going to go first, or rather, should I say Dryan? Dryan is going to say it's real. Brian's going to say it's real. All right, this just in? Specifically because I think you're making, um, uh, is it called an attribution error, a fundamental attribution error? That one, like, uh, in Kahneman's Thinking Fast and Slow, they ask a question, and they're like, uh, uh, somebody uh, loves to burn bras and... uh, uh, and do X, Y, and Z and other stuff. Is it more likely that she's a banker or a banker and a feminist? And people are like, oh, a banker and a feminist. And of course, there's no way it could be more likely that she's two things than one thing, right? So I yeah. feel like I feel like the odds are that there is a category for Canadian movies. And if there is, there almost certainly is a, you know, like I agree with you, Canada's better yeah. known for its television, but I'm going to say that even if that is more popular, there's probably a movie as well. Okay. Justin, critically acclaimed Canadian movies. Movies with buddy and guy. The Canadian <laughs> film going public. I'm going to, I'm, uh, man, now you've, Brian, I was all hoisted on my own petard on this, on this thing. And, and now you've successfully talked me down. Mm. Uh, but you want to know what? Let's start this off on a split. So I, I'm going to say, no, Ex- it is not hands. a real thing. Expector Hans says yeah. in the chat, it's that fake and A. a. <laughs> <laughs> fake and A. <laughs> All right, uh, Justin, you are. Oh! Yeah, I, tried to, I tried to talk you out on that ledge. You weren't joining me. Damn, damn. Damn. All right. Let's go down the list here. Uh, number two. Hello to BS says it's only Strange Brew. It's <laughs> just it's one movie. That's and and that's under critically acclaimed. <laughs> the critic is two guys and their names are Bob and Doug. <laughs> two guys, eh? All right. Question two, Justin, you're gonna go first. Mm. Goofy courtroom movies. Goofy courtroom movies. <laughs> Goofy courtroom movies. <laughs> now this is where knowing the Netflix vocabulary really comes into handy, right? Because like irreverent, I've certainly seen a lot. I've seen a few descriptions of like casting that that they that they like of yours or they want to highlight. Yeah, but, but goofy. But, but think about speaking of casting, this is Tony B. Casty you're playing against. Who knows who knows that? <laughs> and we'll probably try to he made a call to Central Casty <laughs> for an answer on this. <laughs> So let's say a goofy courtroom movie. Would like My Cousin Vinny be a goofy courtroom movie? It would. Sounds like one. Mm. You want to know what? I'm going to go with yes. There is a category on Netflix that is goofy courtroom movies because courtrooms are so procedural that there's probably – a goofy courtroom movies and there's a goofy police movies like okay. th- those those reliable kind of uh, now, uh, plots. Now you you've locked in your choice and you can feel free to talk me off of this, but it seems like they would call it a uh, courtroom. Wouldn't they call it a comedy? Or unless if goofy is a modifier for like uh, uh, you know fairly tame ironic uh, courtroom comedy or goofy courtroom comedy. I mean, uh, goofy courtroom movie that feels weird, but. I'm, I guess it would really depend on, on, on that Netflix nomenclature of like what's going to get you to click on it, right? Like, and also they, 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 they do want to differentiate each one so it's not just like comedy, comedy with a lady, comedy where there's a dog right, that holds hold on. a gun. You know what? Maybe let's explore this, this space. How many goofy courtroom movies can, can you name? So, so we the, got My Cousin Vinny. Liar, liar. Liar, liar. Uh... The the used car salesman one where they dub over them saying it was it was Steven Spielberg's first movie to direct and it had Kurt Russell in it and they dub over uh like his his friend saying we've got miles of cars and then they're and then and then they're like no we're gonna take him down for false advertising the only way to make it right is we have to steal a mile's worth of cars by the oh. time the measuring tape gets there. Uh, yeah, jury duty, uh, 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 a time to kill, to kill a mockingbird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it's real. I'm going to say it's real. All right. And Justin, you said it was yeah, real the, also? Yeah, the, 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 the 30 for 30 OJ made in America. <laughs> uh, and Justin, you said it was fake or real? I said it was real. And you said it was real, Brian? Yeah, I think yeah, so. You said it was real. You guys both... All right, all right, good, 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 good. 
that's good to know that they uh, that they can sometimes be awkwardly phrased. Yeah, because like if you think about it, um, on some level, it's like. Oh, this person watches TV shows. This person watches movies. Oh, so you got courtroom TV shows and movies is yeah. the subdivider on there. That's a good call. Now, I do want to. I do want to uh, put this out here because this is the first time it's happened. Uh, these categories all exist within the Netflix database and were were presumably used at one time, but a lot of them are no longer in use. Oh, I see. So there might not be a movie. <clears throat> so there is a real listing for goofy courtroom movies. But yeah. That... Well, we we know we know goofy courtroom. Movie movies exist. exist yeah yeah uh but it could be a thing where either all of those movies got got off the service or it's no longer a very useful category so yeah just oh the up. great the great vanishing of all the goofy courtroom movies <laughs> once where, a land of plenty where were you when the goofy courtroom <laughs> movies went away <laughs> and it's just left behind now <laughs> it's the leftovers everybody's super depressed uh, all right, but but the ones that are incorrect, Bryce, mm -hmm. are indeed made up. Yes. Okay, okay, but can you give us examples of those? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Well, let's see if this one is. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Number three. This is going to go to Brian first. Gritty black exploitation movies. Oh boy. <laughs> what a weird first like reaction! Your reaction is also your uh, uh, your audition to be in a gritty black exploitation movie. Catch <laughs> me, I can be Little Richard. <laughs> <laughs> gritty black exploitation movies. Okay. Mm. Is mm. there any non-gritty black exploitation movies? I mean, um... Shaft is gritty. Black Belt Jones is gritty. I guess they are Pam they, a super that, that gritty. Term, that term presupposes violence, right? Because yeah. they were action movies. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. I believe that there might be a category black exploitation, but I think gritty is overly redundant. Okay. Uh, do you think do you, the, 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 the adding gritty to black exploitation movies is hashtag problematic? Actually, hold on. Uh, code codes from home. Points out that a non gritty black exploitation whoa, whoa. movie would uh, uh, be Soul Man. No, it, nobody heard that. You're, something was up with your button. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, sorry. See, when you press that, we can't hear you. Sorry. <laughs> that's that's how <laughs> cough buttons work. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're saying Coast from Home says Soul uh, Man would not be a gritty. We, yeah, would be a uh, non gritty. Brian, Brian assumed black that that was the brilliant point button. <laughs> he was pressing it as hard as he could. <laughs> it's the shiny thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess Soul Man would be the only non-gritty black exploitation movie. Wait, sorry, what was what 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 was the what was the point that you were trying to say? Because I think I talked oh, over oh, you. Oh, that Soul Man would be a non-gritty black exploitation oh, movie. Oh, gotcha. Or maybe, uh, wait, is Look Who's Coming to Dinner? Would that be a black exploitation movie? Or is that about a nuanced uh, dive between black white politics? I had always assumed that black exploitation was the the kind of a subgenre for B movies or yeah, the hyper violent or, uh, 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 like grindhousey kind yeah. of. Uh, Grindhouse movies with black people, yeah, basically. I'm, I'm gonna say not real. Not I'm real. Say not real. All right, Justin. Okay. By by the way, mm -hmm. Von Huntington is saying Action Jackson. You're just describing an action movie that with a star that is black. That's not <laughs> black exploitation. Yeah, I mean, because otherwise that would be Made in America, the OJ thirty for thirty. <laughs> All right, Justin. Gritty black exploitation movies. Mmm. Big question. Big question. Palinuk says, think... uh, Palinuk says undercover bro brother, but that's just, that's riffing on black exploitation, right? Yeah. yeah. No, that's ironic. a parody yeah. of those movies. That would be in, in goofy black exploitation movies. <laughs> Boy, I'm not reading that line from the chat. Uh, what was your, uh, your, your question? So, I think this is real. But now I'm 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 debating on because Brian made a lot of very good points and we're due for a fake one. In we're due. <laughs> oh, did I mishear you? Fuck. <laughs> 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 Jesus. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that it is real. I will say that it is real. 
and I'm pitching my new spec screenplay <laughs> for gritty black exploitation <laughs> movies. N word do. <laughs> Oh, Brian, your answer is... Oh, no! Incorrect. Oh. So we... You think... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Dangerous to abort. Abort. <laughs> no. All right, let's move on. So, uh, I was just... All right, just imagine the catchphrase that that character would say. <laughs> <laughs> this is another uh, abandoned category, but it was a real category. Pretty... Okay, uh, can what's up? Can we see what other categories of black exploitation movies there are? Nintendo. Like, uh, I wonder. I wonder if if we there's that master list. You don't have to show me the list if you think it'll give away part of the game. But can you can you just for my own curiosity verify whether or not uh, there's the you know lighthearted black exploitation <laughs> movies is also a category? Uh, yeah, we can do a little control F here. So we've got, uh, we do have a black exploitation movies category. This is category 1832. Mm -hmm. And that also seems, I, I guess maybe they just stepped away from using the word black exploitation, maybe? I can't imagine why. <laughs> I, I see literally no downside to our friends over at Netflix. <laughs> Uh, so that yeah, th there were those two categories in Netflix, and they were both real. All right, let's move on to question four. Justin, the category is break dancing. Just break dance. Break dancing. Break dancing. Break yeah. dancing. Heroin. <laughs> Heroin. Hairline. Hairline. Hair. Hair. Horror. <laughs> Break dancing. Break dancing. Break dancing. Just okay. not movies, not TV shows, just not with strong lead female characters. Just break dancing. Just break dancing. I'm going to say this is not real, uh, Bryce. Uh, and I, I, I'm insulted that you brought this into my house. Okay. Oh, really, 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 really real. Brian says it, it's real. Mmm. <clears throat> Brian, your answer is no. Then you know what? Netflix is racist. It's 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 <laughs> wait, wait, what? racist against you. No black exploitation. <laughs> Only black exploitation, but no break dancing. <laughs> Pop and lock exploitation. <laughs> All right, let's move on to number. And Netflix, the other N word, the racist. Christ, no. oh my. <laughs> Sorry. Here's number five. That's what I wanted as my first slogan for Amazon Video. <laughs> Jeff Bezos, get uh, out of here. You, you need, don't you say need to... the N word, <laughs> but when first... you can get Amazon Prime. <laughs> pow! <laughs> yeah, punch Netflix, punch Netflix. <laughs> I'm going to give him the old pow pow. Take that, Ted. Oh, oh, what's funny? I know Ted's our generic Ted Netflix thing, but but then I realized Ted, Ted Sarandos. Sarandos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, Brian, you're gonna go first on this question number five, category number five. Hmm. Low impact workouts. Oh, that's real, 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 really, really real. I bet they got sit and be fit in there. I bet they got. Uh, I guarantee you, man, they got they got all kinds of workout videos. Okay. And you can watch them at half speed. Them ladies be jiggling. <laughs> Sorry. You can't. It's, I'm joking. You can't, you can't watch it at half speed. That's a YouTube thing. <laughs> Brian, Brian watches that on YouTube. Yeah. They have them on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, low impact. Low impact workouts. So I think this is where Bryce is starting to get sneaky. Because... This is where I think he's watching enough of these Mikey quizzes and he's starting to learn these Mikey tricks mm. where he just loads up certain things. He tries to keep the patterns fairly unrecognizable by bunching the answers. And I'm going to say that low impact workout. What is it? Low impact workout? Is that it? Low impact workouts. Low impact black exploitation workouts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Which, is, by the way, uh, technically, uh, uh, some forms of breakdancing would might be in that there. might be considered high impact breakdancing. Uh, some forms. <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to say, because if you think low impact workouts, you're thinking like Tai Chi and yoga and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I would say that those could go into their own, that there was enough yoga videos that they would make a yoga category as opposed to a low impact category. So I'm going to say that this is false. I say this is false. All right. Justin, your answer is. Oh, no! God damn it. Son Another, of a bitch. This is a, Son this, of a bitch. This must be an old the N word strikes again. <laughs> This is category number fifty-one. So this might be an er might have been an early thing when Netflix was just getting whatever they could. Try, try searching for "sit and be fit" and see if it says people who search for that ended up getting this. No oh. matches. Mm. I wonder if there's any workout. Workout. There. Uh, there. These look like documentaries. Yeah, these are just documentaries about. Wait, they don't have a workout workout videos. Mm, no, you can explore titles related to. Uh, but... What if you typed in P90X? Uh, well, P90X is expensive. I don't think they're well, going to have that on No, no, no. I don't think they will, but I'm thinking enough people will, you know, it's like, you know, we don't have that, but. Uh, yeah. It, it you're searching me... for the Whopper. Can I offer you a Big Mac? <laughs> yes. I'm a sentient McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, it, uh, it did not even give me explore titles. Huh. Right, too. All right. Question number huh. six. This is going to be for Justin first. <laughs> By the way, Varin in the Diamond says, quirky comedy podcast with suspect male leads. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Justin, question six is going to you. It P90 is... exploitation. <laughs> P90 exploitation. <laughs> All right. Visually striking comedies. So you got to figure visually striking dramas are there because those are generally more pretty than comedies. But I am going to say that this is real. This is a real category, visually striking comedies. Okay. Brian, visually striking comedies. Is yeah, I think it's real because you could think of, uh, you know, any uh, – a lot of movies with psychedelia, um, like you know, Beatles, Yellow Submarine would be in there. It's not mm -hmm. much of a comedy, but yeah, you know, you know, or any 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 comedy with like Mel Gibson or uh, uh, those classic Mel Gibson comedies. <laughs> I'm trying to think of actors who have a history of domestic violence. That <laughs> oh was my bad. god, I was afraid you were going there. That's yeah. Well, I'm gonna just cut that line of jokes off by telling you <laughs> that you are both wrong. What? Scott Pilgrim, huh? Visually striking comedies is not right. I, uh, Scott Pilgrim is funny, but I feel like that's an action movie. Yeah. Uh, so wait, that that's not a thing? Yeah, not, not a, a thing. thing. But but I, I bet visually striking dramas are, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I so. so I guess, yeah, uh, Leona Moose in, in the Diamond Club, or, or in the uh, Twitch says, Eternal Sunshine on the Spotless Mind would be a visually striking comedy, or is that more of a drama? That's a That's drama. neither terribly visually striking nor a comedy. Uh, it is I, good oh, really? visual no. bits. The, 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 the Michelle Gondry, like, crazy direction and stuff oh, like yeah, that? Oh, no, yeah, no, you're right. Uh, the inside the head bits do get trippy. That's a good point. Yeah. All right, this is question seven. This is going to be for Brian first. African. <sighs> African. <sighs> Just, what was it again, Bryce? African. Okay. But also, one more time. What was it? African. Okay. If everyone could just repeat it in the chat over and over and over again, just so Brian knows what it is. Okay, so at this point, it's been a long time since we've had one that's real. I don't know if that's true, even as I'm saying it. Um, I'm going to say, if it's not true, it should be. Shame on you, Netflix, <laughs> if you don't have African. <laughs> Shame on you, Netflix, if you don't have African. That's, is this that, is your one chance to make the world right. Okay. Is that, uh, are you saying real or false? It better be real, or I'm going to have some real words <laughs> with old Netflix. <laughs> a, there's a binary. 
So Ryan, <laughs> you deserve this point just for straddling this particular problem. I feel like you have navigated this so well where you are either correct or you are high-roading Netflix. And I feel I'm, I'm recusing myself. I'm rec I cannot score a point either way. Brian just gets to, to, to choose. <laughs> you haven't said, oh, my God. Uh, he's not going. Oh, oh! I, 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 I say it's real. You say it is real, okay? And and Justin, you're gonna. He says it's false. Just, you're gonna say false, okay? He doesn't believe. He doesn't believe. <laughs> wait, hold on! Wait a minute! You can't do that! You can't! You can't put me on the other end of this coin! <laughs> if you're if you ain't with us, you're Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, your answer is. Yay! Oh! Netflix is our friend! We love Netflix! <laughs> oh, apparently this was African movies. Someone did not do Yeah. So I I, I would I would suspect that they would, you know, with, with the with the boom of African film, that that would make sense, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, oh. do, do they have a uh, uh, Tababusa Sula? <laughs> yeah, Tababusa Sula. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> Oh, man. All right. I believe we are on number eight. Justin, you're going to go first here. Oh, shit, Brian. You're, you're <laughs> closing in on me. Babcat wants to know if you call African comedies Lafrican comedies. No. <laughs> Bridge to Tababatsitsula. <laughs> that might have been a joke from, like, BB Live Show. <laughs> yeah. Justin. Just yeah. Disco. <laughs> That's a command, mister. <laughs> Disco <Go>. now. <laughs> okay, okay, no. huh. uh, so break dancing wasn't real. Would disco be real? So not... Mm. I'm going to say that this... I'm going to say that this is fake because like breakdancing it's not dancing comedies or or dancing whatever that's a very specific niche without a lot of direction as to uh you know like why would you why would that be a category like if it just i just want disco god damn it just people dancing or people singing or uh, like uh, uh, stories i don't care just give me the disco Brian? So I'm going to say not real. Not, not real. real at all. Not real. Brian? I think, I think that Netflix is doing a real hard working job to distance itself from bad movies. And I can only think of two disco themed movies. I guess you got Staying Alive and, and uh, Saturday Night Fever. Boogie Nights. But, but then, but there was that. Uh, did you ever see that? Uh, oh, that movie starred uh, uh, Edward Furlong and. Uh, uh, they went to go see a Kiss concert. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they got Wicked uh, High. Uh, uh, oh, oh, Goddamn! It's a, it's a name. Is it Detroit Rock City? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. De Detroit Rock City is the other thing that uh, that I think of. Um, I saw that movie with uh, Ernie Klein twenty years ago. That's really weird. I think. Oh that's, my god. Yeah. No, I remember seeing that in, in in theaters. That was right. That was in the like the Dude Where's My Car era, where that whole like uh, yeah, I think it was quest, before that quest comedies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, they got high. A lot. Uh, let's. I'm gonna say no. Not real. Not 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 real. So you both are saying not real. And to both of you, I say. Oh what? God damn it! God what? damn it! Brian, you could have tied. We're at three could've to four tied. now. Uh, but you didn't believe in the healing power of the rhythmic disco. Uh, no, I, no. I, I, I still don't. I, I only <laughs> I believe don't. in that Steely Dan video game dance. <laughs> Steely dance? Yeah, Steely dance! Steely dance. <laughs> Just Steely dance! <laughs> All right, we've got number nine here. So we're going to start with Brian. All right. Emotional father-son relationship movies based on books. God damn it. Real, ooh, real, ooh, real, real, ooh. real. I, I, and and the only reason it wouldn't be real is because you pulled a, a Tony B. Casty classy uh, <laughs> trick, uh, mastery classy, uh, a master classy, um, and <laughs> and you you switch like wife to father to you know, 
yeah, it's close enough to real. Hey, the white <laughs> to father? <laughs> I don't know. Like, like if not, you know, father son, then it's like mother son or or whatever. I don't know <laughs> if it was like one of those little switcheroos. Like it's got one, not the other. I thought it was a uh, 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 white and son comedy. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what was the category? One more time. Emotional father son relationship movies based on books. All right. Yep. I believe it. You're gonna say it's real, Justin. Yep. Emotional father son relationship movies based on books. To be fair, this these are the kind of 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 categories that I thought we were going to get more of because th they're always the ones that make me laugh when you scroll down far enough uh, in your in your Netflix search is that they you realize how granularly they know exactly what you like and how much you wind up liking the same little things. However, I am going to say that I can't think of a lot of emotional father-son comedies that are built on books. I can think of a lot of mother-daughter dramas or comedies that are that are uh, based on books. I can't really think of a lot of father-son ones. So I'm going to say that this is fake. I say this one's fake. All right. So this either puts me up. Two, or it ties, it ties Brian with me at four. How many more of these do we have? We got one more. We have number ten up next. So that'll be for all the marbles because Justin, you are Xiaomi. Wrong. Oh, hot damn! Hot damn! We're tied up. We're tied up. Son the, of a bitch! This is the closest game we've had in a very long time. Yeah, this is a good game. Good. Uh, I, All I, right. I, hey, by the way, mega kudos to, to uh, two weeks in a row, just slaying it, Tony Bicasti. This, this one is really everybody in chat. Everybody, I wrote none of these. I just picked them. Uh, emotional father son relationship movies based on books like Being Flynn. <laughs> Extremely loud, incredibly stopped. close. Oh yeah, that's the nine. Wow. That's, yeah, nine yeah, eleven. That's oh, oh yeah. have you seen that trailer for the new nine eleven movie with Whoopi Goldberg and and, and Charlie Sheen? Yeah, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Oh, we got ourselves a video breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> the only question if we do it on the air. Maybe we'll do it in the uh, after show. No, no we'll, we'll, I'll tell you what. We'll do it in the after show, which you can get early if you are a patron at yeah. patreon.com slash night attack. That's right. Yeah. We, we, forget, we, we forget to sell on that point. Um, uh, you get your own RSS feed, which means instead of just getting the show and having to hunt down the pre-show and the post-show, mm -hmm. you get the entire, like, usually two or three hour rock block. And you get it early. Yeah. You get it a couple days early before anybody else. Yeah. Oh, I was supposed to plug something else. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. We'll, we'll do it after this. All right. Uh, this is the last question for 10,000 points. Oh, my God. Movies starring Snoop Dogg. <laughs> this is Justin. Movie starring Snoop Dogg. Okay. I I, I don't want us to... Well... I, um, What's up? Nothing. Okay. Justin. Oh, do you want to... Do you guys want to put your answers we in? We gotta... Yeah, we yeah, gotta... We gotta... Right. I mean, we don't we have do to because, like, you know, you do, you do it. It'll be more fun that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, Movies starring here. Snoop Dogg. I mean, well, I'm going to give you some of the other great fake ones that... uh. I'm just gonna. Included. I'm gonna. I'm gonna text this to you, Bryce. Okay, dude, that's perfect. Uh, some of the other fake ones that Chat Rumors wrote in: skiing fiction, skateboarding Skeet fiction. fiction, skiing. Oh, it's not skiing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 tearjerker movies about losing a pet. Surprisingly, not real. What? Wow, uh, that should. Yeah. Uh, Stephen King movies covering eight novels in ninety-five minutes turns out to not be real. It's hey, uh, by the way, can I can I say for the record that I think a short Hardcore, just just give us a good gun fu, uh, uh, dark tower. Just let it. Don't even try to encapsulate all the epic stuff. Just make it badass. And just brief. Get in, get out, and then you got an option to have a whole bunch of other stuff. We'll see. Now I've received both of the entries via textular message, <laughs> and I have to say, Brian, yeah, you answered real, yeah, and Justin, you answered real. Uh oh. And this is a real category. We have to go into quick, sudden death. Oh. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Good answer. Good, <laughs> Good answer. answer. Good, answer. Good answer. answer. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to do this. We're going to do this right now. Let's go. <laughs> we've seen We've seen already that there are categories that do have movies and no longer have movies, but are existing categories. We know this is a real category. So I want you guys to text me your answer. Does this category 
have movies in it? Oh wait, the, the one we just said. Items. Yes. Does uh, movies starring Snoop Dogg have any items in it? Uh, you know, we we saw earlier. Uh, 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 Disco did not have any any items in it. Uh, I believe. Uh, what other ones? Uh, gritty black exploitation movies. Neither of the black exploitation movie categories. I tried. I tried to call my shot. I got you. I got you. Here we go. Here we go. I got this one. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling all of it. I'm, I'm getting my hands around Probably it. Probably wrong. I got my Probably wrong. Up in it. Probably wrong. I think that's going to cost you are. the game, Brian. All right. Well, I, uh, what the? Or I could put it on the line. That was just me. Put, that was just me putting stank on it. I'm not. I'm not exactly. Uh, Justin believes that there is something in this category, as does Brian, who believes the movie is Soul Plane. Yeah. What, what do you think the movie is? Oh, wait. If there's well, only one, or do we have to choose? No, I don't know. I he, just, I was just trying to. He, if I turned out to be right, I was gonna. I was oh gonna no! I mean, I dance. would say Soul Plane, Soul Plane, Half Baked, Starsky and Hutch. None of those. Nobody's ever heard of Mac and Mac Devin go to high go to school. high school. Oh, that's the Wiz Khalifa buddy comedy. Wow. 2012. Uh, do you? You both got that right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. You both win. Da -da -da. We're both winners. Ah. Oh. It was for the audio listeners, you missed the completely <laughs> instinctive, no way, no way, followed by the realization that this won't make the show better to argue and say we have to fight and pick a winner. <laughs> no, I just thought, I, I thought we, were, we were building. We were building to a crescendo. We That's want one fine. more? That's we can, we, we can, can do, do one more. We can fast. do one more. Super fast. All right, here we go. All right. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, I'm, I'm having a good time. All right. Like, <laughs> all right, great. Here we go. Uh, uh, tell me, is this real or fake? Uh, here we go. Golf. <laughs> We're going to start with Justin on this one. Golf. Is golf a real category? <laughs> so disco was real. Break dancing was not real. Break dancing was not real. Is golf real? Can you confirm? As a mostly white correspondent, can you verify that golf is real? Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I'm mostly white. So <laughs> I'm gonna say. Uh, uh, golf is real. Yeah, I think golf exists too. I'm pretty sure I saw it on TV once. Golf is a real category. Yeah. With okay. the Netflix. All right, how about this? We each take turns. Uh, can you tell us if it's occupied? Because maybe we could just keep going until the first one of us to get. Sure, we can we can do that. Uh, 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 Justin, since it's still your question, you'll go first. Is there anything in golf? Yes. Right. Category three one one six. Yes. Justin says there is. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll say there is. There is. Okay. Oh wait, but you're. Oh. Oh yeah. You no, we never yes. would have gotten this. I was thinking like you know we go like tin cup, Caddyshack, bottom. Oh. But it turns out like it, yeah. no. It's a Netflix original movie, and uh, Steve, the movie. Yeah, all right. So here, how about this, okay. Bryce? Pick uh, uh, pick one of these that is real, that has a, a, a fairly finite number of videos, and we have to pick how many are in there. That'll be the tiebreaker. Is that, is that fair? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Let's go with... Unless, uh, unless you want to keep guessing uh, real or fake, Bry. Whatever, whatever you want to do. Oh, I... I you I, can do I, it over-under. <laughs> to be honest, if you want to win the game, you can just win the game. I'm fine no, with no, 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 no. <laughs> if this is not fun, we can we can stop it. We, uh, let, no, no, no. no I'm down, I'm down for, for literally whatever. That's, there you go. Uh, I'm, totally, I'm super cool. Dark Tear Jerkers is a, real com is a real category in Netflix. Oh, my God, dude. I saw that porno. It has <laughs> fucking Christ almighty. I think that was a gritty one. <laughs> Dark Tear Jerkers is a real category in Netflix. How many items are in this category? It does have items in it. How many are in this category? Ooh, are we playing closest or, or Price is Right rules? We're going to play closest since it's just the two of you. Okay, I'm going to say five. Brian says five. Justin, how many are in Dark Tear Jerkers? Thirteen. Oh, shit, now I gotta do math. <laughs> oh, oh. Thirteen. By one. Hold on, hold on. Five. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
Wait, no, is that? Hold on. Yeah, and you could you could have game theoried it too by just saying six, but I admire that you actually went for the number you thought it was. And I almost went higher. I almost went you, fifteen. You both. We tied. tied. <laughs> what the fuck? There are, damn it! There are nine. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Unspeakable ads. <laughs> All right. I yeah. Think, I think that's it. It's I, meant to I, be, I, I right? Off, it's, uh, 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 if, if we're going to tie on that, then we've got to just go out. That's amazing. Oh, I did not cue that. That was just played. Oh, oh it just ran play. out on its own? <laughs> Perfect timing. All right. Good oh, game, everybody. That's great, man. And that is great. Congratulations to Netflix. Uh, the thing you probably wanted to plug... Yeah. Was maybe the Diamond Club TV survey. If you go to dctv.link slash 2017, uh, we have a whole new team of people who are going to be manning the Diamond Club ship and uh, need input from everybody on uh, what the, sh the site should look like going, going forward. And so they want to know how people use the site as it is versus things that they don't use, things they don't know about, things that they wish was there. So dctv.link slash 2017. Take the survey. It's very quick. It's like five minutes, if that. And it matters. It matters a it lot. Matters, it matters a lot. Really, it does. Uh, because we've got a, a great group of people who uh, want to help helm the ship, but uh, they really need uh, just a little bit of direction from the people who are actually going to use the website. So, one last time, dctv.link slash 2017. Hey, so um, I'm going to play this one kind of cool. This is weird. Like, normally... <clears throat> Normally, when you and I plug stuff, Justin, like we're we're, we're like whole world participate in this. Um, yeah. uh, this one you're gonna have to really think about if you want to uh, participate in. But I've been asked to teach a class at Wizard Academy, along with uh, if you've seen uh, uh, the the Whiskey Vault episodes with uh, Rex and Daniel Whittington. If you saw the Whiskey episode of the Modern Rogue, you saw Daniel Whittington, and you saw the Wizard Academy. Um, uh, it's it's a heavy duty class. It's a for reals deal. Um, but what, what's uh, the topic you're teaching? It's uh, how to build an audience with video. And the idea is, it's for oh, it's it's a business class, right? It's not for people who want to be well. Um, it's it's for people who. Uh, well, here, here's what we wrote. Uh, it says here, uh, you've got clients, you need fans uh, to dominate your online niche. There's no more powerful tool than a street team of evangelists that you could build by doing basically vi regular video. So if you, let's say you run an AC company or whatever, you might not think that, uh, that or maybe you understand that, oh, we can do regular videos about what we do at the AC company, but you want to make them good and you want to build an audience. So then that way you're not just like, you know, uh, in a world where everything is increasingly online, there's a gap between people, mm -hmm. and you have to virtualize your presence online so that people get feel like they know you through video instead. And so we're going to sure. teach you. I think it's a two-day class. Is that what it is? Yeah. Tuesday, August 29th to Wednesday, August 30th. Very cool. Where can uh, people find uh, out information? I think it's wizardacademy.org. Yeah, wizardacademy.org. You'll see it coming up. It's right around the corner. Uh, Do you have uh, a date? Yeah, the 29th and the 30th. Holy crap, one week. So this will have to be of the July. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, of, oh, so our August. Sorry, a month. So five weeks, <laughs> not five one weeks. week. Five weeks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was panicking. I was like, oh, I got to write this. I say it's 13 weeks. <laughs> So one more time, wizardacademy.org. <laughs> wizardacademy.org. <laughs> it's going to be a two-day class. And uh, uh, if, if you're really wanting to build a you know an online presence, I think it'll Math be good. Again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, and I, I can think of uh, plenty of people that are, are, are in the Diamond Club or in the orbit of the Diamond Club that are in Austin that would love to come out. And, and I can say firsthand, that Wizard Academy, you're doing it up there at their at their facility, I assume, right? Yeah. Yeah, and they've uh, they've got this nice thing where it's like um, you come in, you, you get to spend three nights, and they have super nice accommodations. Yeah. So um, the the pricing is expensive, but it's in line with business classes like of this variety, and uh, uh, and, and only only include, super deluxe. It might include go. accommodations. Uh, I, I, th I think it does. Check, uh, double check, double check. check. Don't don't trust me. I know nothing, but <laughs> but uh, I know that that oftentimes it does. Uh, first come, first serve. You know what? I think as long as there are slots, on, you could stay on campus. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is, you know, uh, comparable to, you know, nice, nice hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it's it's gorgeous. Nice that entire campus. campus is something that you 
would would do well to check out any way that you can, let alone at something that would be as valuable to your business as this. Yeah. A load of BS points out that the schedule will be such that I'll say, now that I'm done with this eloquent class, I'm off to fly to Atlanta to get really drunk and scream at people! <laughs> Which is accurate. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh wait, well, that's that's right before Dragon right, Con. Right before, yeah. Oh geez. It was the only time we were able to to fit uh, it in. You got schedules. you got a day or two. Yeah. You got some time. Very cool. You want to plug something, Justin, before we get into Diamond Time? Uh no, I, I would like to plug it. Diamond Time, which is uh where you can shout out your own projects. Reddit.com slash R slash Diamond Club. Go ahead and look at the big old sticky posts at the top there, and you will get to shout out your projects. We have W Scottus One taking the lead. I got three plugs, so I'll make them short and sweet. This will probably get mentioned on the main show, but remember to take the DCTV survey at dctv.link slash 2017. Seriously, this will help to decide the future of DiamondClub.tv. Second, if you haven't checked out the Diamond Club Twitch community at yolo420.com slash Diamond Twitch swag, not only is it the place to go to see whom from Diamond Club is live on Twitch at the moment, but you can also have your stream placed on that list if you have the Diamond Club inside your communities. Wait a minute. I have the Diamond Club community, and I got it right when they went online. We could use that too. We do use that. But that's that's what this is. The Diamond Club. You you type in. Oh, that is okay. That's, yeah. that's it forwards what it is. to okay. that. Yeah. Yeah. So you can good, see. Good. 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 Okay. Sorry, I thought really it was a different deals. thing. No. Nm Diamond Club Twitch swag. So yolo420.com/slash Diamond Club Twitch swag. Uh, that is a great, amazing resource as well. Third, of course, I'm going to promote our game night streams at Twitch.tv/slash Badweave and Twitch.tv/slash W Scott is one. Uh, I will be hosting a place of Bad Weave tonight, immediately following Night Attack. Also, be sure to follow our new Twitter at DCG Game or DC Game Night, where Twitch clips, memes that are made throughout the stream, and more exclusive content will show up. So go follow it at twittercom slash Night. That is all D I A F. Yeah, I am Stedman writes. Hey, longtime listener Stedman here with the thing. Wasn't going to mention this, but since Bonnie brought up the book, my friends and I are recording a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy podcast, and we think it's pretty funny. We're launching August 31st, but there's a trailer up at btlpodcast.com, and we're on Twitter at btlpodcast. We're trying to build up a head of steam, so if you like it, subscribe and leave a comment wherever you listen, as that will really help us out. Unlike the book, chances are this would not be suitable for a child smiley face. Uh, uh, share, enjoy, and die in a fire. Uh, that is awesome. And finally, Movie League Mike says, ever wish there was an alternative to the Crumb Dumbs movie draft coverage? Something funnier and more insightful? Well, guess what? Life just kicked you in the crotch again because there's not. The Crumb Dumb is probably better than nothing, though, so why don't you support it at patreon.com slash C-R-U-M-D-O, or sorry, C-R-U-M-D-U-M. That is patreon.com slash C-R-U-M-D-U-M. Yeah, Chat Realm's Ridiculously Unofficial Movie Draft. Mm, update uh, update memo, memo. memo. That's what it is. That's yeah. what update it is. Update memo, yeah. No, uh, he is amazing. Great analysis. Fantastic analysis. Uh, if you like following the ups and downs of the summer movie draft, which, by the way, we got to start thinking about the winter movie draft already. We, we are we are know, already. We, we've got up. a new commissioner. We have a new commissioner, uh, industry insider Eileen Rivera of uh, of Rotten Tomatoes fame is going to help curate the list and make final decisions on what goes where and when. We just got to pick a date and time. And, and you want to know what? Oh wait, we usually do this on Mondays with Court Killers, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. Are you going to be around? Who should extend the olive branch to then because they are not reviewing movies on that day. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, who? Corey and Martin or, oh. and, and Kanata. And oh, yeah, I was thinking of Kanata, can but yeah, 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 yeah. Do the thing. Let's let, let's let's, let's, let's uh, uh, yeah. So it'd be yeah. you, me, Tom, Corey, uh, Martin and Kanata have first dibs and then and then maybe uh, movies with Mikey as a chance to redeem. Sure. Yeah, I, I think uh, uh, this is going to be. I'll say, to be honest, as, as much as I used to uh, uh, demean the uh, the winter movie draft as the Puerto Rican <laughs> league to the big leagues of the summer, I think th these days it's more exciting than 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 the summer. Well, it's uh, certainly more volatile. Well, actually, I don't know. This was volatile too. I I, I don't think any of us had pegged uh, Wonder Woman as the biggest movie of the summer, not by a long shot. Sure. Time. I guess, uh, and certainly this this was an interesting draft, but uh, you know now the winners have 
Star Wars and Thor and Justice League. Yeah. All these movies that would have normally gone into the summer now are going into the winter. So. Uh, well, speaking of which, why don't we check in with the Movie Draft Minute? Welcome to your Movie Draft Minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of July 24th, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. Look, Spaghetti Arms, this is my dance space. This is your dance space. I don't go into yours, you don't go into mine. You gotta hold the frame. Let's go check the score. Team Frogmans are in sixth place with Dunkirk bringing $50.5 million from their total to $305.4 million. Team Core Killers are in fifth place with $368.2 million. Team Scotch Bros are in fourth place with Valerian and a City of a Thousand Planets bringing $17 million to bring their total to $405.8 million. Team Big and Tall are in third place with $546.4 million. Team Nitec are in second place with Girls Trip bringing in $31.2 million to bring their total to $589 million. And in first place, whopping $731.6 million. It's Team DTNS. And that is your Move Drive Minute for the week of July 24th. 2017. Dude, I think thanks to Girls Trip, there's a chance we might hold on to second place. Because I don't I think... think you might be right, my friend. I think that that we 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 might have pulled a second place finish out of our booty holes uh, <laughs> where we hit it because it would not give us an infection. Yeah, so Girls Trip probably has another 20 million, I would say, or between all our movies, we probably have another 20 to 30 million coming in. Uh, but man, those last two, uh, Big and Tall, uh, Planet of the Apes and Spider-Man Homecoming, that almost certainly has, what, 60, 70, maybe 80 million in the it tank? Really, It really depends because both of them are really starting to fade uh, uh, as as the summer goes on. I think the, the people that are out on vacation or out on, you know, doing things that would make them go see movies with family for family trips and stuff like that are starting to dry up a little bit. So you've seen pretty big drops on both of those week on week. Uh, but Girls Trip, uh, you know, who knows? It's really going to depend on how that holds to see uh, uh, how well it does. But it was really, really, uh, you know, it's got good word of mouth. And uh, it turns out that I would not be shocked if it becomes one of the better buys of the draft. Although, yeah. what do we pay for it? Uh, by the way, Seven congrats bucks. to Chat Realm winners. Quantum Feline and Toner Boner. You guys had our first ever tied Chat Realm uh, League winners. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Captain Underpants, Wonder Woman. Only wow. two people picked that triad, and they did very, it, very well. Is Cars 3 out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ooh. Well, then. Or he came and went, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess It so. did. It yeah, certainly did. Wow, ago. that's interesting. So that's really all you needed. The Guardians of the Galaxy, Wonder Woman, and Captain Underpants. All you had to do is pick the expected number one pick and the surprise number one pick. Just get both of them. Yeah. Oh, oh that. Oh, that old chestnut. Uh, uh, and then what do we have coming out? Is there anything else? Oh, Atomic Blonde and Dark Tower. So this is all pretty much... Uh, yeah, we're just riding out the rest of it. Pretty much just going to keep farting. Keep on <laughs> farting. Keep on farting. I wonder when the reviews for Dark Tower start hitting. Yep. Uh, Probably within the next week. I'm sure the screenings are probably within. Oh, yeah, probably I wonder if it's tonight. Tuesday. I wonder if it's because it's Tuesday night. That's when a lot of the screenings happen. Yeah, we might hear it right after this. Yeah, very cool. All right. Uh, man, what did we learn today, Justin? It was a big day. Was a big day. We learned that uh, that 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 uh, there are no gritty black exploitation movies on Netflix. <laughs> and disco is a lie. Oh no, wait, it wasn't <laughs> no, a lie. Break, break dancing, dancing was break a lie. Break is a lie. Disco is real. Uh, Dark learned... tear jerkers is a very popular category. We learned that uh, 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 Tony B. Casty is uh, Tony B. Casting these quiz spells. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Abraka, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we love you guys. We'll see you next Tuesday. Nine of five. I'm allergic to bees. Oh, Justin Robert Young. Every time you go, I get so sad that I wanna. Drink a warm glass of Drano. Night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack. Night attack. Night attack.
Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>